down here in Florida and I was just sitting around thinking to myself about those old Ronco and KTEL commercials. Do you remember the one where the teenage boys were in the convertible and they, they saw the girls on the sidewalk in their hot pants and they come up and they said, hey, good looking, be back to pick you up later. <laughs> Mr. Microphone, I thought that was like the greatest when I was in middle school anyway. I wanted to be one of those cool kids, you know, in the convertible picking up the chicks, you know, off an abandoned AM radio station that no one listened to <laughs> with a Mr. Microphone. <laughs> look better on the commercial than it was in real life but uh, yeah anyway um, I only said that because I think realistically you have an easier time picking up threads on a lathe than you do picking up girls with a mr. microphone so um, I got a message from Kyle again Kyle seems to be having issues with the uh, threading and he asked two questions Don uh, one, what's the most useful tool or what's the tool you use most in your garage? And I'll show you what that is, Kyle. It's a broom, okay? <laughs> I can't do anything around here without a broom in hand, so that's my most used tool. Uh, and the other question is, how do you pick up threads? I've been having a hard time picking up threads on my lathe. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Could you show me how to do it? Sure, Kyle. Uh, what I want to throw at you is this first. If you're having uh, thread issues get yourself a thread file because 95% of the time you can simply just take out whatever's wrong imperfections in the thread with a thread file find the uh, right size on this This is an 11 so I'd find an 11 and I'd, I'd simply put it in line with threads like this and run it over the threads while I'm turning the bolt okay and I could do this on the lathe I could do it in the field. I could put it in a vise. It doesn't matter. I've always carried a thread file in all my toolboxes. Super handy. Uh, so start with a thread file. But the question rings true because a couple weeks ago <clears throat> I had a uh, nut that it ran internally to a shaft but it was hollow and it was hardened. I could not get onto this nut to save my life and eventually I just put it on an expanding arbor, put it in the lathe. I tried with a thread file, it was just too hard, couldn't get it to go. And on top of that, it was where most threads are usually bad, right at the very beginning, right here, because somebody's jammed them up. And uh, you know, even with a thread file, sometimes that can be uh, difficult, and the lathe can actually uh, reform that thread without damaging the threads behind it. So that's what we're going to do we're going to go over on the lathe and i'm going to show you how to uh, pick up a thread which is actually pretty easy so let's do it okay so the first thing you want to do is get your threading tool in here and i'm already set up with a high speed steel threading tool get your fishtail and make sure that you are square on the shaft and i'd rather do it on a shaft than on a bolt because the bolt can be you know with the threads it can be throwing it off a little bit so i want to make sure that it's perfect okay now i've got a similar bolt here with a nut and i'm going to use this nut as a gauge to make sure that the thread that i correct will work so here's a nut and i, I went ahead and smashed the threads up on here uh, pretty well so it's got about three threads that need to be uh, fixed up right at the beginning, and that's usually where we're going to find them. All right, if your bolt has available space on the end, it would be good to put a center in there because that keeps everything stable, so we'll do that. And notice I didn't get too crazy on that center. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and verify my thread pitch, and I can see that this is 11 TPI. I'm going to check on there. Yeah, 11. So I set my quick change here. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, comes out as 11 right there. Okay, and this is a right hand thread, so we're down. All right, so this is the only part you really have to really pay attention to what we're going to do right here is we're going to set the dial and we're in the middle of those threads we're going to set the dial to one yeah 
one. I'm going to lock the handle down. I'm also going to put a fresh mark on here. There we go. Just makes it easier to see. Now I'm going to bring the cross slide in like this. And I'm not going to turn this. I'm just bringing the cross slide in and see how it does not line up on that thread perfectly. It doesn't seat down in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back away and I'm going to run my compound either in this direction or back this direction. Okay. I prefer going in. So we'll back this up and we'll run it in like this. Notice as the cross slide goes in, it also goes sideways like this because we're at a 30 degree angle. So we're gonna run it sideways like that till we're lined right up on the center of that and then we can bring it down. We're centered right in that thread. Let me check it with a loop here. And by this, I can see we're not centered in that thread. So what I can do is I can back it out just a little bit on the cross slide. And I'm gonna back the compound up just a little bit here and then bring it back a little bit to take the uh, backlash out and then bring it back in. And no, we're still not there. That's why it's good to have some optics. I think I'm gonna back it out a little bit more and bring it in some more. All right, looks like we're lined right up on it now. Let's check it from both sides. And there we go, right there. Took that one last little bit. So let's see if we can get down on there a little bit closer. Okay, it should be right in the center of that thread, okay? Okay, for me, once I have the tool at the bottom of the thread, I'm going to go ahead and zero the DRO. That way I know where the bottom of that thread is. When I back up now, okay, I know how far away from that thread I'm coming, but I can also use that zero point to know how far out away from that thread I am so I don't cut this all at one shot. So, for example, if I want to be 18 thousandths out, Okay, we'll say 19,000 is out. I'll just back it out 19,000. It's going to take more than that though. So we're going to back it out and we're going to move it where we want it and then bring it in. Okay, and run it and then we'll just run it till we're down to zero. Okay, so the rest of this project is, is like any other threading project. Now I can disengage my, my threading handle and I remembered that I was on the one here and I can back it up. I'm free to move where I want now because I know that as long as I always go back to that one, I'll be threading fine. I, I did use a center in here. I'm going to back myself out here. The nice thing is, like I said, when you're down in that thread and you back it up, you know where your zero is here on the DRO. You, of course, could do it on the dials here on the uh, cross slide, but my eyes just aren't that good anymore, so I don't. So I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to stay probably. Actually, let's just run it and make sure that we are following the 11 TPI that I set on here before we actually uh, go in and try to repair that thread. So let's do that. I'm going to turn it down real slow so I can watch this and we'll let it come around. Hit it on the one and I can visually see that it is following that thread. I'll, I'll take, take it out, back it up. We'll do it one more time. Hit it on the one and I can watch it uh, turn down and I can see it's following that thread nicely and I'll shut it off and I'll get my loop and I'll turn the cross slide in and look at that that little bit of gear plate threw it off so I want to bring it in a little bit here on the compound and see I'm glad I double checked okay so let's uh, knock it out back it up try one more time hit it on the mark looks like it's following it looks like it's following but we're gonna shut it off and I'll get my loop and this time it's perfect so we're gonna take it out bring it back and I'm gonna bring it in I'm gonna stay uh, 
twenty thousandths out on that. Let me set it to twenty. Okay, I'm twenty. I'm backed out away from the the bottom of the thread or the minor diameter by twenty thousandths. So let's see what we have here. And I'll bring it around. On our mark. And there we go. So. Yeah, you can see it started taking it out right there. So that looks good. Okay, this time we'll take it 10 thousandths off its mark, but I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here. And hit it. Almost nothing. And we'll bring it back. And this time, uh, 10, I guess the beginning of that thread must be tapered a little bit. So we'll bring it in just a little bit more. And try it again. And there we go. And this time, let's go to zero. There we go. Zero. And I'm just going to back out like that. I'm going to double check. Yeah, she's still centered. Let me look at the threads. Yeah, see they're they're really flat right on the top because I hammered them back really well. So I'm going to undercut those just a little bit now. Disengage, bring it down. Okay, I'm going to start with a 5 thousandths undercut to see if that clears up those edges. See how I pulled away? I'm going to start moving into the large part of the thread. Okay, oops, I can disengage here. And I don't know. I might have beat that too much. <laughs> I wanted to give a good show of it. I might have got one. It's so right that that first couple threads. So let's uh, go ahead back, try this again. Okay, this time we're going to undercut it by 10. That may have done it. Let's check. There we go. Just like a new one. Okay. It does still look a little flat right there, but the threads go right over no problem. So. I'd say repaired thread. All right, so picking up threads on the lathe is a pretty straightforward uh, deal, a whole lot easier than picking up girls with a Mr. Microphone. So I guess that's just about gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna go break out my Denny Terrio VHS and practice on my disco dance and see if I can catch up with old John. And uh, as always from Florida, Dawn out.